Hello and welcome. Uh, we are going to be creating an assembly in this tutorial of a hinge. And um, so the first thing I'm going to do is model out these three parts. We'll, we'll assign uh, mates to the parts and then um, we'll play around with some animations in the assembly. So as you can see I've made these parts. Um, I'll be going over how I made these parts and then pin the pin there and then um, we will be going over how to create a mate that can move around, can revolve, while assigning assigning the pin to the origin. Um, and then we'll get into some animations a little bit too. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, create another one of these. So we'll start fresh. Hinge to. So the first thing I'm going to do is create uh, this piece here, this plate with the cylinders over here. Um, and with that, I'm going to create a sketch. And um, so since this is kind of looks like the front, I'm going to choose to create the rectangle in the front. Center point rectangle. Now I'm going to just draw some lines for the cutout. Trim this out. Dimension this to 1.5. Dimension this to 0.25. This will be 0.75. This will be uh, 0.5. And there we go. Uh, we have to reference the, you need to reference the origin in order to get a fully divine, defined part. Otherwise, it's just kind of this thing floating in space. So now that we've, we've defined all necessary parts, um, all n necessary dimensions, of this piece. Um, I'm going to actually just put the holes in there right now. So one hole there, one hole there, and that one is, they are all 0.1875. So one eight seven five and we'll specify that over there and then the distance from the middle to the top is point two five And then the distance from the side is 0.25. All right, so now um, this is all taken care of. Oh, yeah, we didn't need that one because we have the overall and then we have the middle, so we're good. 
<clears throat> um, that looks good. It's fully defined. So now I'm going to extrude it out. And they don't give the thickness uh, readily in this. <clears throat> you have to do a little bit of math. And you do that math assuming, we're going to assume that the thickness of the cylinder is also the thickness for the rest of the plate. And it probably is because it's probably some sort of sheet that they're cutting this out of. So what you're going to do is subtract the 0.1875 from the 0.125. And that's going to give you a 16th. So if you were to actually do it, so 1 divided by 16 right, is 0 0.0625. And that is the same thing as the outside diameter, right? The outside diameter subtracting the inside diameter, right, is going to give you that, that thickness, that thickness of the outside. So 0.1875 minus 0.125 gets you 0 0.0625, so indeed 1 16th. From there, <clears throat> we are going to put that in here. So you can type it in 1 divided by 16 if you want, rather than decimals, and it'll convert for you. So, okay, we got the beginning part here, and it looks good. Um, so now this is a little bit tricky. Um, so what we're going to do is it doesn't really, I, it doesn't really specify, um, where this, this cylinder is, but I'm going to assume that it's off, off of this edge. So, um, to do that and pictorial representation. So this is a pictorial representation of the part. And they can be kind of hard to interpret because, you know, they're trying to, they're, they're giving you like a, a different view of perspective. So um, it kind of, if, if you get, if you're looking at like, trying to like look at parallel lines and all that, like don't do that with a pictorial because um, it's, it's, a per, it's a perspective drawing. Um, so it's not, it's not going to be, it's not going to be perfect. Um, like a like a regular 2d like this right like this is we know that these are parallel these lines are parallel with each other and 90 degrees and but don't try to do that with a pictorial representation um so okay so now we're gonna include this this circle the cylinders the hollowed out cylinders and i'm gonna i'm gonna start with the top one so sketch and i'm gonna click on this face here because i'm just gonna actually move out from this face and I'm at kind of like an angle here um, and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna create a line from this point and go vertically upward escape create another line and go horizontally so I'm just kind of like increasing uh, the the edges here with lines I'm then gonna create a center point circle With that center point circle, I'm going to make it have a dimension. And for this one, it's going to be the outer dimension. So three times, so that means one, two, three, right? They all have that same dimension. So dimension, and it is 0.1875, which I believe is 3 sixteenths. Um, and then... So then I'm going to go to my conditions, and it's T for tangent. And I'm going to make the circle tangent to those two lines that I just created. So tangent here and tangent here. And notice we're all um, defined except for these points. But that's OK. I'm actually going to trim off this edge. And I am going to trim off this edge. And then I'm going to trim off this edge. So now, now that we have a fully defined um, cylinder looking thing, I'm going to extrude it. So just like this over here, right? 
Um, I'm going to extrude it in the other direction, so kind of like backward from where I am. And that distance is another quarter inch, so two five. Check it off, and now notice that we have um, the, the cylinder portion of it. Now I'm just going to cut a hole through it. So sketch, I'm going to sketch on here again. And the, the circle is going to be in the center, so make sure you're in the center. So get that snap to open up. Click in that square, dimension this out. And that is going to be 0.125. And it's black, fully defined. And I am going to remove this time. So remove. And you can do through wall, you can do one, it doesn't really matter. We're not going to add any parts to the end of this. So as long as it's cutting through the part, you're good. Check it off. We're good. So um, now, rather than do this this again, I'm going to just mirror this feature, this this part. So to do that, I'm going to click on mirror. And so since my I do have a mid plane here, the top is the mid plane of this part. So I am going to use um, mirror, and then I am going to click on. And it's not, I don't want the whole part. I just want a feature. And the feature is these two features, right? I want the cut and I want the actual extrusion. The mirror plane is going to be my top plane. And then it gives an, it gives a um, what it would look like. Looks good to me. Check it off. And we got it. We got the first part of the hinge made. So looks good. Um, and if you're seeing lines in there, don't don't freak out. Um, it's probably just it's probably just like an accuracy of the program. You know, Boolean um, logic is probably it, it's probably like point zero 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 one um, off or something like that. Um, but don't don't stress about like a crack in it or whatever. Um, and actually, yeah. So, um, so that's the first part. Um, I'll make the pin next, which is very simple. Um, so I can can name this plate. Um, I guess this would be this would be the part that's on the door, I believe. Let me just check my door out. Yeah, I'm not sure that that might be on the wall. Um, maybe on the wall. Doesn't really matter. But uh, so let's say wall plate. Um, all right, so now we have that. I am going to create the pin sketch. And um, so I'm going to go from the top because we're going to call this the top. So top. Create a circle. Dimension the, the top of the pin to 0.1875 and we will extrude it um, so we're extruding it downward because we're calling that the top not that any of this really matters with what we're doing but it's just good habit good practice to keep things in the correct planes um, if you because if you have to make a drawing then 
uh, you will you'll you'll be happy that you oriented them correctly. So um, that is 0.125 in depth or height as the drawing is saying it and check it off and so now we just need to make another another extrusion from the bottom here and that one is 0.125 with a one inch length. So defaults to one, so that's good. Check it off. And now we have the pin. Right click on there, rename to pin. All right, so now we're gonna do the last one here and we'll call that door wall uh, wall um, door plate or or whatever I'm sure there's more technical terms but that that can kind of differentiate it for us so the front will be this so again I'm gonna go with the center point rectangle Dimension this out to 1.5 and dimension this out, and that's going to be 0.38, right? Or it's going to be which is 0.75 divided by 2, basically. But um, it looks like they're playing with with fractions and they're going and they're given some they're given some variance tolerance here because um, 0.75 divided by 2 is not 3 8 it's 3 um, 7 5 right um, so but that's okay um, we we will do this at 0.75 divided by 2 and then we will go and put in a couple circles. These are going to be our holes. We can set these equal to each other. I didn't do that on the last one, um, but we can do that definitely. Or we could, I mean, we could mirror it, do all sorts of things um, to quicken it, quicken the pace of sketching it out. Um, and then this one is 1.1875. And notice, hey, that did the same thing down there because they're equal. So now bring this out. And this is going to be 0.375. This is going to be 0 0.375. And this is going to be 0 0.375. And we're good. So now we're going to extrude. And what did we we decided on one sixteenth before from the outer uh, inner diameter outer diameter subtraction, and we are good. So with this one, uh, since I am in the midplane here, so the top is the midplane again, I'm actually going to create this circle on the midplane and then extrude it in two directions. So I'm going to create my sketch on this midplane and then extrude it in two directions, both uh, 0.25 a quarter inch in one direction and a quarter inch in the other direction because this has to be half an inch All right, so what we're gonna do is create a sketch in the top plane and I'm gonna click on the bottom here and now I'm gonna go line um, 
And so since I'm not grabbing onto here, I'm actually going to use, so you, you can hit use and it's that, that um, cube with the blue, with the blue edge there, because that's what we're going to, we're going to use. So what this does is it brings, it brings that to the sketch plane, right? Because I, I, I want to use that. So I'm going to use it. And then I'm going to use this bottom too. Actually, I don't really need to use the bottom. Um, now that I have that one piece, that's what I what that's what I needed. So line, and now I'm going to go from here outward, and from here up, and same thing as we did before. So circle, dimension the circle to. Point one eight seven five tangent to this line, tangent to this line, and again I'm going to trim M for trim, trim this, zoom in here, and if if you were if if you were on the other side, so let me let me just show you. If you if you happen to have this line like this, then obviously you can't trim this, right? So what you would do, you're just gonna click on the point, drag it out, and bring it over to to the circle, and it'll lock on there for you. Another way to do it, and then trim again. So um, looking pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is instead of instead of extrude this and then cut the hole, I'm just gonna cut the hole right here. And this is gonna be 0.125. And now I'm gonna extrude. So it's gonna be quarter inch in each direction. So I'm gonna come down to second end position. I'm going to put 0.25 and check it off. And there we go. <clears throat> so we have this second part. <clears throat> and we are we will name this um Uh, door plate. All right. So we got all three of our parts here. Now to go into assembly. So um, the first thing I want to do is bring in the pin, and then I am going to put the pin on the origin in the Z direction, align it with the Z direction and fix it um, because if I want to move if I'm trying to mate other parts to this I need something grounded right if I'm trying to move things if I'm trying to use a um, revolute mate or or like a gear or a pin there needs to be there needs to be something fixed right in order in order for it to work so I'm going to insert the pin, click in there, check it off for now, and um, so what I'm going to do is click on the top, right click here, so, okay, so click on the top first, and then click on this this uh, triad, the center point of the triad, and then go to the, it's going to have like a mate that goes into the, the middle. That's what we want. We want, because now, now it's in the center of the pin, and I want to right click on this, um, that circle, and move to origin. So now this is, now this is in the origin, and now I'm going to right click again, 
and align with Z. So moving instance had no effect. That's because it was already oriented like that. So if it was, if it wasn't, if it was or oriented like this, I could right click here and say align with Z and then it would get and it would get um, aligned with the Z axis again, right? Z is Z is our up. We 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 look at Z as up and down, right? Um, so up and down our Z. That's that's what that's what we're looking at right here. So front right front top. You're going positive in the Z axis when you move up. You're going negatively in the Z axis when you go down. All right. Um, so now that we have, we have to fix this now. So right click, fix. So now I'm not going to be able to move it, um, which is what we want. So if you try to drag it and move it, see it has that grounded sim symbol in there. Um, it won't let you. So that's cool. Now we're going to insert... the wall plate part and I suggest you kind of get it in an orientation that's going to allow you to um, get the get the mates that you want um, so this is good it's close enough to the pin um, so what I want to do here is click on revolute mate and I'm going to click it's going to be inside here. I want it to be inside, but the top portion. So there's three there's three places you can kind of choose from, and I want the top uh, connector. So click here, and then I'm going to do the same thing over here, except again I want it in that top portion because that's going to assign. That's going to kind of link them together, and then check it off. So that it automatically prompts you to another mate. So don't forget to escape out of there. So now I can take this and move it around. So click and drag, drag your mate around. Pretty cool. Um, and now, so let's check out the, the next part. And the door plate. So I'm going to bring this in here and I'm going to do the same thing. Except this time I'm going to I'm going to lock it into the the middle. So I'm making the mate around the pin again because that's what I want it to swing around. So click on revolute kind of like revolution. Go up here but now I need to kind of search a little bit and I, I want to get in that middle spot, right? So this is this is where it gets tricky because um, you don't, you need to kind of play around with your mouse in order to get the right one. So I don't want the out exterior, I want this middle shaft, hollowed shaft in here. So I need to click on the middle and then I need to click on this middle, right? I don't want it up here, I don't want it on that middle I don't want it on there. I want it down here in the middle of the the pin shaft. And then if it looks weird, if it's not like try solve, and then it then it can it automatically kind of like shifts things for you. Check it off. Escape. So now now we got two plates. We got two plates, and that and they're gonna be able to move around our. They're gonna be able to move around our um, pin. So now with these revolute mates, right? Now I can I can do things with them. I can um, if I right click on one of them and or uh, double click on one of them. I can I can set limits to them. Um, and if if you look if you look at the top here kind of tells you this this is zero and then um, if you had a max so say you you wanted your your 
min as zero and your max as 35, check it off. Then if you try to drag it, it's only gonna go 35 degrees clockwise. And same thing, you could do the same thing over there. If you want to animate, you're going to right click. So I'm going to right click on this one, animate. And this is when things get kind of cool. So you can press play. And so what this is doing now is it's a, a reciprocating animation on the hinge. So reciprocating means it goes back and forth, right? Um, there's different there's different types of play playback that you can do. You can do a single single um, swipe, or you can do a loop, and the loop will just go start from the beginning again. It won't go backwards. The steps are basically the speed, right? Um, it takes it takes an image at every. So this this one is going 360 degrees and it's taking 300 images as it goes around. If you want to quicken it, you would increase sorry, decrease, decrease the steps. So if I had 10 steps, right? It's quick. If I had a thousand steps, It's a lot slower, so um, that's how that's how that kind of works, and it tells you the value. And um, you could reverse the play, like if you want it to go the other way, um, start value, stop value. So you could do if you wanted this to be, um, say, fifty degrees end, and you could loop it. Yeah, let's reduce that to 50. And that'll just loop around if I want it to reciprocate. Open and close. So um, pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool little features that you can mess around with. And um, obviously this is a this is a relatively simple part to play with. Um, so we're not dealing with gears or anything like that, but um, yeah, so it's it's a cool, cool little, cool little thing that um, Onshape has here. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. And good luck.